Hello my pupilos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today, we'll continue with the lessons from the serious verbs and the topic for today is the uses of the present simple in indicative mode. So far, we have learned many conjugations of this verbal time. We already know the regular conjugations of the verbs with R, ER and ear termination and the regular verbs ser, estar, haber y tener. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, duh, it's obvious. Present simple is just to express the present. And I have to tell you that you're right. The present simple is to express the present, but it has many other uses that we will see in this video. I will list all of them and then I give you a couple of examples for each one. Dicho esto, empecemos. To express habits. Ejemplo, voy al gimnasio todos los días. I go to the gym every day. Voy al gimnasio todos los días. I go to the gym every day. Another example could be Tomo el bus de las 7 todos los días. I take the 7 o'clock bus every day. Tomo el bus de las 7 todos los días. I take the 7 o'clock bus every day. So as you see, we're talking about routines again. To express universal facts, we also use the present simple. Ejemplo, el cielo es azul. The sky is blue. El cielo es azul. The sky is blue. To express appointments and scheduled meetings. Ejemplo, tengo cita con el dentista este sábado. I have an appointment with the dentist this Saturday. Tengo cita con el dentista este sábado. I have an appointment with the dentist this Saturday. In some situations, we also use the present simple to talk about the future, especially when we want to emphasize something. Ejemplo, la reunión empieza hoy a las 3. The reunion starts today at 3 o'clock. La reunión empieza hoy a las 3. The reunion starts today at 3 o'clock. Another example could be, Mi artista favorito viene la próxima semana. My favorite artist comes the next week. Mi artista favorito viene la próxima semana. My favorite artist comes the next week. To form the first conditional. This is a grammar topic we haven't seen yet, but I'll give you a couple of examples so you will understand this. Si mezclas rojo y azul, sale morado. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. Si mezclas rojo y azul, sale morado. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. Si el equipo gana el partido, vamos al mundial. If the team wins the match, we go to the World Cup. Si el equipo gana el partido, vamos al mundial. If the team wins the match, we go to the World Cup. Y bueno, mis queridos pupilos, eso es todo por hoy. If you have any question, opinion, or recommendation, or maybe you would like to give an example for the present simple in the comments below, please go ahead. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.